Hello, everyone. Welcome back to machine learning sessions. In this session, let us discuss about reinforcement learning. So this reinforcement learning basically addresses questions like how an autonomous agent can learn to choose optimal actions to achieve its goals. Let us see what is meant by reinforcement learning. So here you can see there is an agent. He, this agent has, has to work on in an environment. This is entirely a new environment which the agent doesn't know at all. Okay, so in this environment, he has to perform some action AP in order to receive a reward RP. Okay, so whenever he is in a state ST and performing an action RP, he is receiving an immediate reward of RP. And then with the help of this, he will be changing his state to ST plus 1 at time T plus 1. He will be changing his state. And he will be receiving his next reward, R P plus 1. Stated in formal terms, each time the agent performs an action in its environment, a trainer may provide a reward. So here R is a reward and sometimes he might get a penalty also. So that means if the reward is a positive one, we will consider it as a reward. If it is a negative one, we will be considering that as a penalty. Okay, so to indicate the desirability of the resulting state, whether the agent has to obtain that particular state or whether he has to use that state for further goals or whether he has to discard it. So in order to decide that either a reward or penalty is used. So what is the objective? Here the learning task is, the agent has to learn from this indirect delayed reward. Okay, so here either the agent is receiving a reward or a penalty, right? So from this reward, he has to choose sequences of actions that produce the greatest cumulative reward. Okay, suppose if he is performing an action A1 and he is receiving a penalty, so he should not consider that one. He has to avoid it. And then if he again performed another action A2 and he has received a reward, then he should consider it. Again, if he has performed an action A4 and if he is receiving a reward, he should add that. So like that, the cumulative reward should be more while reaching towards his goal. So this you can compare to the dynamic programming which you might have studied in DA. So where you will be taking the next decision which should be optimal re with respect to the previous decision that is, that is taken. So that means, for example, let us say, suppose you are attempting an exam. Okay. So in that exam, your aim is to score 100 marks. Okay. So the first question, will, usually what you will be attempting is a well-known one. Okay. So let us assume that it is of 20 marks. You have attempted them. So the next one, whatever you are selecting, it should be an equally optimal one. That means that also should give you an, another 20 marks, which will add on to the previous 20. So like that, you will be selecting each and every question and you will complete your exam, right? So in the same way, the agent also has to learn how to take a sequence of actions such that finally the cumulative reward, the sum of the rewards is the greatest. So he has to receive the maximum reward. In such a way, the agent has to learn the task or update the control policy. So here you can see a simple example. So here we have taken an agent. Here, he is entirely in a new environment. So in this environment, first of all, the agent has to observe what are the things that are present. What are there? A fire is there, a bucket is there, and a tap is there. So from this only, he has to sense that, okay, so this bucket has to be filled with that water. So I need to push this bucket under the tap. And after the bucket is filled, I have to switch off the tap. So all these tasks, the agent has to learn. Okay, so in this learning process, so first thing here you can see he has moved towards his left. Either he can move towards the left or he can move towards the right. So here he has moved towards the right, left. So what has happened? He received a penalty. He caught fire. He received a penalty. Then what he will do? He will update the policy. So he has learned that this is a wrong, wrong step. He should not move towards the left. So in the next step, what he will do? He will try to move towards the right and then he will try to move the bucket also towards, sorry, towards the right and then after the bucket is filled then he will try to 
of the tap. So this will not happen in a single step. But over a state, over a repeated cycle, the robot will learn all these things. So this is what meant by reinforcement learning. So the general example, all of us are having Android mobiles and we will be playing games, right? So right then when you are playing with the computer, so then what will happen when the computer will win? It will receive a reward. Let us assume that, okay, there is a trainer and the trainer is going to give a reward to the computer. So whenever the computer is winning, so then it will receive a reward. If it is losing, then no reward. Negative reward means penalty and zero reward if it is a draw. So let us see what are the various applications where this reinforcement learning will be used. Okay, so it can be used in all areas where the autonomous agent can learn tasks such as controlling a mobile robot and learning to optimize operations in factories and learning to play board games. Nowadays, robotics are there in each and every area, right? Autonomous car, then uh, robotics uh, doing surgeries and all. Uh, in all these areas so the thing is the agent the agent program whatever we are using it has to be very efficient so how it will receive that efficiency is over number of iterations repeatedly performing the same task again and again and fine until it will come to a perfection the task has to be repeated number of times and each time it will update the control policy which is nothing but the action from which state to which action. So this is the real world example. So this game is called as PD Gammon. Okay. This is Black Gammon game. Sorry. This is a Black Gammon game and a computer program called PD Gammon program. Okay. So this program with the help of reinforcement in learning, it has achieved the accuracy of a world class player after playing 1.5 million so self-generated games. So now it is considered nearly equal to the best human player in the world. Okay, so this game, this program was discovered in the year 1995. So this reinforcement learning is nothing new, but we are learning it now, that's all. Okay, so hope you understood what is meant by reinforcement learning in the next session we will be learning about Q learning and we will also solve a numerical example based on the Q learning. If you have any queries, do post in the comment section.